Hello guys, welcome. This is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com and today I will be sharing some of the interview questions that you can come across if you are applying for a job. The interview questions do vary depending on what kind of experience you have on your resume, but generally employers do uh, start from the basics and then they gradually move towards more advanced topics. Now the one of the questions that they can ask you is what is the difference between a profile and a permission set but rather than giving you in a such a way asking you in a very straightforward way they might put you in a more scenario based uh, question where they'll say if let's say there are multiple people working on a project and they all share a same profile for a limited period of time those folks needs access to other set of objects along with it and uh, they, it can be a read access or a create access on those how are you going to accomplish this so the answer to that is going to be permission set is you're going to assign permission sets to those users and through that permission set you can give them access to whichever objects you want the other question can be related to what is the difference between the dml statements and the database methods and uh, you may know that the database methods do allow partial updates so there is an option in the case of database methods to set the flag of partial uh, update you if you set the flag of all or none to false that means the partial update is allowed and if you set the flag to yes that means the partial update is not allowed so that is one of the main difference between using a database method over a dml statements the other question can be related to writing triggers what are the best practices of writing apex triggers so one of the best practices is you have to always write one trigger per object and the other thing is you should not be writing your logic inside of the trigger you should be using handler classes or service classes to write your uh, logic outside of the triggers then you have to bulkify your triggers that means that your trigger should not only work for a single record it should work assuming it there might going to be large sets of data and uh, your trigger should be bulkified the other question can be related to what are the different ways of running apex asynchronously so you have a batch apex you have future methods you can write it through queueable apex then you have is the schedulable apex the other question can be what is the difference between a future method and a queueable apex uh, other question can be what is the um, difference between running apex synchronously versus asynchronously what are some of the best practices of uh, test classes so these are some of the interview questions that you can come across i hope you have answers for all of these but if you want to know more about these interview questions along with their answers then do check out the link that i've shared in this video i have a bundled course which i've recently released it's a complete package and it also comes with the interview preparation the link is in the description so do check out the link Thank you so much and have a wonderful wonderful day.